I'm Bronco. Uh, Big Mac, Whopper, some nuggets. Oh, anyway, it's National Drive Through Day here on Sunday, July 24th, and you're stopping through the Card of the Day calendar where all the scores and highlights from Saturday's action are on the right side of your screen in one convenient location. Now let's get on to history. And on this day in 1976, Lyman Bostick, the twin center fielder, hits for the cycle in a 17-2 thrashing of the Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park. Bostick had a great 76, batting 323 with 21 doubles, 9 triples, 4 homers, and 12 steals in 128 games. I've got to be honest, I've never really heard of this guy, and unfortunately, a very good but short career came to a sad, sad ending a few years later when he was killed in a drive-by shooting while visiting family after playing a game with the Angels at the same Comiskey Park. Also on this day, in 1983, ladies and gentlemen, I present the Pine Tar Game. I'm not sure I can do this justice if you haven't seen a clip of this. How's that possible? And if you have, well, you know what happened, and the incident speaks for itself. In any event, we got George Brett, Billy Martin, a bat with too much pine tar, a home run being overruled, an outraged George Brett racing onto the field like a lunatic, and a successful protest. The bottom line, the Royals win 5-4 to four in a game that took 25 days to complete due to the successful protest. Birthdays on this day. Jerry Augustine turned 70 today. Augie played his entire 10-year career with the Brewers, winning 55 games with a 4.23 ERA. On August 24, 1976, he threw a 10-inning shutout in a 1-0 win at Texas without a single strikeout. Barry Bonds turns 58 today. Just going to say, of all the players born on this date, their combined wins above replacement adds up to about 250. Bonds finished with 162.8 of them. Say what you will, but the guy was a beast. And Joe Oliver turns 57 today. He had 831 hits, good for a 247 batting average with 102 homers in a 13-year career. He also won a World Series ring with the Cincinnati Reds in 1990. July is 2011 Tops Month here on the channel. And today we're going with Justin Verlander. He has 238 wins in a stellar 17-year career, but his best may have come in 2011. Check out these numbers. A 24-5 record, a 2.40 earned run average, 250 strikeouts and 251 in the third innings, a Cy Young Award, and he was named the American League MVP. Well, I'm going to go shoot for that MVP award at the drive-thru. I'm Bronco. Sports out.